can do highlight like so and this will tell me which portion of the screen security is looking at. See this red border? And see this prompts me to select the region. Depending on the size of the region, it may be much faster for Sekuli to find a picture. So now it's actually running the, um, uh, the simulation. Now let's do a demo with Python. What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're talking about Sekuli and we're talking about the screen objects and region objects. There's a couple of things that you need to know as to why you need to use the region object. And the number one is performance gains. Performance gains you'll see are, they're gonna vary depending on the region that you have and depending on the pictures that you're searching for. Um, but generally speaking, you will see performance gains and we'll actually run through this demo, uh, which kind of will tell you what sort of what sort of performance gains you can expect but you know spoiler alert it's about 50 percent but it depends on the size of your region as well uh if actually before we talk about regions let's talk about screens so what is a screen a screen is the real estate that you see on your screen right now right in the video this is the current real estate that i have if i'm not sure exactly what uh, how much real estate I have or where exactly Sekuli is looking at I can actually do a highlight <clears throat> I can do a highlight like so and this will tell me which portion of the screen Sekuli is looking at see this red border that's where Sekuli is searching for pictures when I do screen that find okay now you can also highlight on the regions and you can create regions in many different ways so one way to create a region is let the user uh, actually select it. So you can say screen select and you can save that select to a region. And then you can do a highlight on that to make sure that it was selected correctly. And then you can also do uh, region grow. Um, I'm not sure if you have to actually save it, you may have to save it. Uh, region and grow, and the way you can grow it, like for example, if I take this call over here, um, to kind of run through this real quick, uh, we have left, like how much you want to grow it to the left, how much you want to grow it to the right, to the top, and to the bottom, okay? And negative values are accepted, that will just grow it the other way. So if I do then, highlight on this uh, it will be different from what I select so if I run this and see this prompts me to select the region so if I select this region here it will highlight it but the next one gets you know it gets altered because I actually changed it so that's one way to do region another way is you can actually define um, or change the screen right you can say you can set the screen height to a particular value and you can set screen width to a uh, particular value and then you can uh, call uh, call well I mean this itself if I do screen highlight on this object itself it will actually be what I want. Uh, it will just reduce. Uh, it will reduce the the size of the screen. Okay, the bounds of the screen. So if I actually do highlight here, this is going to be the full screen. I'm actually not going to do that because you guys already saw the full screen. But if I reduce the height and width, uh, this will be completely different. Um, but you could also convert that to a region by by doing a screen grow. Uh, for example, if you want to like change uh, that in some uh, some other way, so that would return you a region here, which would be uh, the same uh, if I didn't do anything with it. Uh, but I can also shift, um, and you, you'll see that this changes when I when I run the code. Um, I can also shift maybe to the right a little bit. Um, 
which when, when you shift that will actually return you a region uh, you, you cannot get away with using the with continue to use the screen uh, at this point so let, let, let's see what what that looks like so this is the screen object and this is now the region object that gets highlighted so that's how you can kind of uh, set the bounds, uh, whether it's using a screen or using a region or getting a region from a screen. Uh, there is another way <clears throat> to, to, to get the region as well based on an image. Um, so when you guys do screen.find, that call actually returns an image, right? When you look for an image, um, and then you can also, in a similar manner, you can grow the bounds of that particular region that gets returned and you can save it into a region and then you can do uh, continue doing uh, finds on that region later on. Um, so the reason we want to do uh, create regions in the first place is so we can improve performance because it is much faster, um, well, Depending on the size of the region, it may be much faster for Sekuli to find a picture within a predefined, um, uh, predefined area, right? If that area is smaller than the entire screen, then it's going to be faster. How much faster? It just depends on the picture that you're looking at, uh, for and on the size of the region. Um, so in this particular example, we're going to take a look. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create a, uh, a region based off of a static image. Um, so here we have a page. Uh, I'm assuming that this is the only place on this screen that is static. So I can use only this place uh, that's static on this page uh, to set a region uh, where I'm going to be looking for pictures. And the pictures that I actually want to find are, is this logo uh, for Test Junkie. So we'll run a simulation here that is going to be using a screen object to find this pattern. This is pattern two. This is this logo. And this is uh, pattern one. So we're using pattern one to create the region. And then we we're looking for pattern two using screen and using region. OK, and this is nothing more than us just taking a timestamp when we started and then printing out when this block is done and then we we're reassigning the start uh, timestamp again and then we're running through simulation for the region and printing out when it's done as well so let me just uh, kind of uh, move that to the side and if I run this uh, before I do anything I'll also highlight the region uh, over here this is not gonna affect the uh, the timing because timing is taken later so this is just so you see the region that that we're working with and this region is constructed based off of this image okay actually it made oh it did find it okay even when I highlighted the readme it, it still found the region so now it's actually running the um, uh, the simulation and here you'll see it's gonna print out so the simulation was done in 9.3 seconds when we searched for image on the entire screen and 5.5 seconds when we searched just that region that you saw here. So that's for 100 samples. Though. What if we just look at one sample? Because it's likely we, we're not going to be doing 100, right? Back to back, not back to back. Uh, I mean, they will add up when, when, when you have um, a framework that's based on image recognition and you're running a bunch of um, flows. They will add up, but it's not going to be back to back. So what if we just do one? Let me just remove that highlight and run this baby. Right, so looking at this, it's actually much faster, right? The the previous one was about 45, 50% faster. This one is like, what, six, seven, eight times faster, <clears throat> right? So definitely performance gains. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned the other reason why you want to use uh, regions, but the other reason is basically if you want to just ignore a second, like, oh, 
an area of the screen that you just want to ignore maybe because it's completely not relevant or maybe because it would cause some failures because the uh, pictures that are there they would produce false positives and those are not the actual pictures that you're looking for but they look exactly the same uh, so in that case you also want to define the region and look for, for uh, pictures only in specific place but you will still get the uh, performance gains as a bonus and you know um so let's do a demo now let's do a demo with python okay let me move that out let's do a demo with python this is the exact same code that i had there we have a screen we use pattern to uh, create a region off of the screen uh, now, one thing I'll, I will mention is don't try to create regions for every image that you're looking for. That you will actually suffer uh, performance uh, degradation because you're going to be making more calls than necessary. Uh, only use regions if it's possible to define a static region that doesn't really change across, like uh, over the course of your script. If you have to create a region to find every single image, that this is, you know, don't do it. it it's going to take longer. Um, so, yeah, we define a region, and then here again, we do loops in Python. We get the timestamp uh, for the first block, for the second block, and then we print the, uh, the, the difference. And here you can actually see I already ran this simulation before. You can see the difference. It's pretty i think pretty similar to the java but let's uh let's go ahead and run it um, to see what happens with python python actually was a bit faster um, than java it tends to be by at, at least a second faster at finding screens uh, at finding uh, pictures on the uh, entire screen when we start using uh, regions uh, Python and Java are very similar so but yeah so those are the gains and that's how you work with uh, with regions and screens uh, thank you guys for watching and if this video helped you out make sure to like subscribe and share and as always take care